Radioactive soda. It might be. It's been sitting on my shelf for a while. Mulberry flavor. What the hell is a mulberry? Well, we made it through another year. Uh, 2024 is upon us. So it is time for me to look back and reflect on 2023. Where did the year go, man? Like, I, I moved out here to Wisconsin in, like, late January. And I swear to God, I, I set foot in Wisconsin and suddenly it was, like, the middle of May. Like, those, those first four months I was here just, like, disappeared. Just evaporated. I, it was suddenly the middle of May. June and July went by really fast. August stuck around forever. August did not end. So, and which, which was weird, because we were getting to the end of August, and I'm like, well, it's September already. Well, no, it's not September already. It's still August. How is it still August? The other months ended like that, and August just, like, drag its, dragging its feet around. September went by pretty quick. October, I was running around like a chicken with its head cut off, so I, I didn't even notice the time passing. So when October was over, I was like, oh. Oh, well, I guess that's that's that. Uh, November went by pretty fast. December's been fine. Uh, given me time to adjust to the fact that it's the end of the year, which I, I was kind of not prepared for, like, a month ago. <laughs> Hello, Razzle Dazzle. What have you to say about, about 2023? Do you like that, Razzle? Do you like the shiny object? This is really nice. Mitzi's parents got me a new microphone for Christmas. You can't see it. You can't see it because the cat's in the way. But you saw it a second ago before the cat got in the way. Mitzi's parents got me a new microphone, which is very nice. I was going to ask my own parents for one, but I decided instead I was going to ask for a, uh, a capture card so I could play video games. You were, like, muffling out my sound, cat. You want, you want to be my... You want to be my pop cover? Hmm? I got a lot of popped peas in my video. You could, like, help block them out. <laughs> oh, oh, she's being a sweetie. Where's your toy? Where's your toy? She loves to be in the way. She has, like, absolutely slowed down production on videos because of how much she loves to be in the way. So I came here in, in 2021, 2022, and I was like, oh, th these have been, like, the best years of my life. And 2023 is odd because... Don't you dare step on that laptop, I swear to God. 2023 has been odd because in some ways it has been better than 2021 and 22, and in a lot of ways it has not. Don't drink that. You, I don't want you to be radioactive. Like, my personal life has been doing really well, you know? I, I moved out to Wisconsin, I, I've moved in with Mitzi, things are going great with Mitzi. I, I'm very happy with where I'm at as a person. I, I, I don't think I've ever been happier with where I'm at, like, personally. Um, my god, things have gone to shit out there. Like, like, yes, things have been getting worse since 2016 like we have been on a downward slope since 2016 but like downward slope means things are getting worse that doesn't mean we've hit the part where things are bad yet now we've hit the part where things are bad okay like we, we we've dipped below the line on that one we we we're well past things being bad at this point it's been a difficult year things are not going well economically, politically, socially. I I think in in all three cases, economically, politically, socially, we are doing worse than we ever have like within my lifetime. Like uh, America and the world at large is doing worse than it ever has within my lifetime. So that's that's something that weighs on my mind. That's something that's like okay, I can't say this is like the best year ever. Because holy shit, there's so much shit you gotta deal with. But, uh... I don't know, I'm happy with what I've done. But, hey, let's let's talk about the channel. Let's talk about how things have been going over here on good old Matt Presents 
youtube.com slash math prison. I don't actually think that's my, I don't think that's my handle, but maybe it is. Who knows? I think it's a bunch of letters. Um, I am at math prisons on, on YouTube. So I, I suppose just to start things off, because I, I assume people are wondering this, where's the Wikipedia's worst video? Oh, I stopped playing with you for one second and you've decided to hop up on the table. Where's the Wikipedia's worst video? Uh, I was hoping that would be done by the end of September. That is all the time I had allotted in my schedule to get that video done was to the end of September. And I got to the end of September, and I was about 70% done with it, and I'm like, this is going on the back burner until next year, because I simply do not have the time to work on it. So expect that one, like, February or March of this year. I, I also did not intend to go a full year without an episode of Matt's Fun Time Weird Movie Show. Uh, I'm not really surprised that that happened, it's not really where my head's at right now, but, uh, there, there were two episodes I had planned to, like, specifically tie into, uh, things I, I have appeared in, that I'm, like, trying to promote that I am in, and <laughs> one of them is finally happening, one of them is the Dingo Pictures documentary I got interviewed for, They're, they've started releasing episodes, Although, uh, the part I'm in has not shown up yet, so I'll, I'll have to make an episode of the show to tie in with that, and, uh, uh, fi we'll finally get around to Dingo Volume 3, that's my promise for 2024, Dingo Volume 3, at long last. There was another one I was gonna do to tie into the release of another big collaborative project I was on, and it still has not come out. I, I, I recorded my bit for this thing in 2020, and it still has not come out. I've seen a preview version, and it was about 95% done. That was like... End of September, I think? Uh, they, they said then that it would not be out until 2024, and they said 2024. They did not say... February 2024, or October 2020, they said 2024. They are aiming to get it out this calendar year, at any point in the next 365 days. Kind of want to keep that one hush-hush, though. I don't want to talk about what that one is. The Dingo documentary, it's coming out. Uh, I will put a link to that down in the description if you want to see that. Uh, the first two episodes are out. Maybe the third will be out by the time I, I get this up, but there there will there will be a link to that down below. I joined I joined the Discord server for this documentary, and I don't think they know it's me because my name is just Matt's username, and my photo is the rabbit from the NC17 rating poster. As for stuff that did come out this year, that came out in 2023. I, I got my Jimmy Neutron video done, very happy about that, very happy with how that turned out, and that, of course, then motivated me to do a VeggieTales video, and honestly, I might like the VeggieTales video a little better. I think the editing is better in the VeggieTales video than it is in the Jimmy Neutron video. I, this, this is some of my best writing, it's some of my best material. The editing, I was kind of, eh, this could be better on, so... I, I kind of cracked down and was like, okay, we're, we're going to make the VeggieTales video, like, really well edited. And uh, I'm very happy with how well those are doing. Veggie, the, the VeggieTales ranking is my fastest growing video uh, of all time, actually. I got 200 views in the first day. I have never gotten 200 views in the first day. Not even on, like, the Dingo Pictures video I, I have. Not that my, my most popular video did not see its success that fast. So, yeah, that was my fastest growing video of the year. I'm very happy about that. Uh, another big video for me this year was our Jimmy Timmy Power Hour commentary. Um, I'm very happy with how well that one's performing. Because I, I put a lot of work into that. Now, I also put a lot of work into Sick as Shit You Ever Saw, and that's not nearly getting as many views, but I understand why. It is, like, not very algorithm-friendly. And even, like, 
algorithm aside, a lot of people are just not going to click on a video about a Serbian film, and I understand that. I understand why. You know, sick of shit you ever saw is something I'm making for me. Like, I just... I really felt the urge to start this series this year. I'm like, like, like it just kept running through my mind, like all the things I could do with it. I kept thinking about it and I'm like, I got to get this project off the ground. I got to start sick of shit you ever saw. And, uh, I, I hope people watch that one, enjoy that one. But, um, it's not, it's not quite as algorithm friendly as the Matt and the gangs that I've been doing. Honestly, I, I am glad that Jimmy Timmy Power Hour Matt and the Gang is doing as well as it is, because I, I do think that's there's some really good editing in that one. That video actually has my favorite editing moment of the year. This is like my proudest achievement in editing. I was watching back through the video, and I'm like, oh, this intro goes on way too long, and I was kind of disappointed with the lack of buffer between... Power Hour 1 and Power Hour 2, we see, like, the the end screen for Power Hour 1, and then we're, like, a minute or two into Power Hour 2, and I'm like, I don't like that jump, but I'm, I'm watching back through the intro, and it's going on too long, and at a point, we stopped even talking about the Power Hours, we were talking about random Spongebob episodes, and I'm like, okay, hold on, this part here about Spongebob... This is going between Power Hour 1 and Power Hour 2. That is now my buffer for, for between the first and second Power Hours. And it, like, drastically improves the pacing of the video, I think. Like, it, it solves two problems with one very simple fix. Two, two, two problems solved with one very simple edit. That's, that is my proudest editing achievement of the year, and I'm glad... It was in a video that has performed so very well. And and welcome to all the new people who have found me through my Jimmy Neutron and, and VeggieTales content. I hope more people find me through my Pink Flamingos and Caligula content, but, you know, I'm happy to have the Jimmy Neutron VeggieTales people here, at least. Uh, 2024. I already mentioned the Wikipedia Worst video is coming out. I am working on another video like that where I review, like, entirely too many movies at once. But, uh, there's a chance that one won't even be out 2024. Like, I- th that one is not a guarantee for this year. That might end up being 25. Because I am, like, halfway through watching all the movies. It's more movies than the, the Wikipedia's list of films considered the worst. It's like 130 movies. And I am I am almost halfway through watching all of those. Not quite, but I am almost through watching all of those. Half of those. Half of those. I am almost through watching half of those. <laughs> Not all of them. I am nowhere near finished. And then, and then of course, it's going to take me like three months to edit the video. So, <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know if that one's happening this year. Hopefully, I would like to get it out this year. If I could set a date for myself, I would like it to be out in October. That's what I'm aiming for. If it doesn't come out in October, no big loss. I'm trying to give myself fewer deadlines this year. I, I feel like I have only screwed myself by giving myself deadlines on things. So... No, no more deadlines. I was glad- I was glad I got the VeggieTales video out for Christmas. Uh, but that's part of why I had to put the Wikipedia Worst video on the back burner is so I could get the, the VeggieTales video out by Christmas. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to do less deadlines this year. I think it'll be, be a lot easier on me to get stuff done. It's like, I am working on this. When this is finished, I can move on to the next project. But not until then. I would like to do more short form stuff. I didn't... Like, apart from, like, Matt and the Gang and Sick of Shit You Ever Saw, which I, is, like, a collaborative thing that I, I do enjoy doing a lot, I didn't get to do a lot of short-form content this year, so I, I would like to make more short-form content. There's a, there's a Lost Media video I've been sitting on for, like, months now. I discover a piece of Lost Media and just, like, have not been able to get out a video about it. <laughs> So, uh, oops, I, 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 I hope to get that one out fairly soon. 
because uh, it shouldn't even it's it wouldn't even be that hard of a video to make. It would be a very short video to make. I've already made pretty clear what the next TV show I'm reviewing is. It's back at the barnyard. Um, I'm looking forward to that one. And then I I know what I'm gonna do after back at the barnyard, but that one. That one's pretty big. That one I don't expect till 2025. Um, maybe, maybe you'll get like the first inklings of it. Maybe, maybe like part one will release December of this year. But uh, don't, don't expect to see the show after Barnyard for a while. That, that is what like a lot of my time goes to is like these big reviewing a hundred movies all at once or reviewing an entire TV series. That has been where, like, a lot of my focus is, which is why I have not gotten a lot of short-form content out this year. Um, outside of the commentary for videos, which do still... Those are still, like, two weeks worth of work that I put into those. And, and of course, I've been doing Hollow Victories. Looking forward to more Hollow Victories. I've had a fun time with that. I, I have recorded stuff with, like, my other friends... I don't know if they want me to announce it yet, because they're editing the stuff, but I I will have other other channel stuff going out this year that I, I will try to keep you guys in the loop about. If you go over to Couch Co-op Gaming right now, there are two videos. One of them is an Animal Crossing playthrough that I joined... Like, in the second episode, I was late to the first session, so I don't show up till, like, the second episode, and only one episode is out right now. But you can also find me playing, um, Exodus, which is, like, a moses theme SNES game, where Moses collects his milk. And that, that video is so funny. I think that's a really funny video. Please check out the Moses Milk video. I think that about covers it. That covers the stuff I've done this year, the stuff I I haven't done this year, that I plan on doing in 2024. I, <laughs> I did not mention what is my most popular video of the year, and in fact, the second most popular video I have ever made now. Technical foul, but all of Davy's lines in with my morning erection, which is a shit post I made while I was drunk. It took me about half an hour to edit. Second most popular video of the year. Or, or second most popular video of all time. Most popular video of the year. Yeah, I think that's all I have. Thank you everyone who, who tuned in uh, this year, 2023. Th thank you to everyone who's, who's going to keep up with the channel this year. Special shout outs to my friend Michael and Chris, who do a lot of stuff for the channel. But I mean... I do stuff for their channels too. We 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 have fun. We do big collaborative stuff. Shout shout out to Princess Dank, uh, who who recorded a cameo for my Wikipedia's worst video that still has like not come out yet. Sorry. To twenty twenty four. I I will see you all in the new year. But you won't see me because this cat's gonna get in the way. Never right, right, razzle. This is, this is Razzle Dazzle. She, she came to us from Texas. She is a Texas baby like I am. Anyways, have a good year.